can now source products automatically in Google Sheets using this program I created and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick run by clicking source all products just so you can immediately see how it works and basically what it does is it goes through product titles and as it goes through through the titles it searches these titles and it tries to find product uh, links for these titles based on a list of suppliers that are provided on another sheet over 3,000 suppliers and you can actually add your own suppliers to the list if you go to the bottom of this list you can add more suppliers at the bottom as well and so I'm going to go back to the sourcing sheet so you can see it continue to do its job of actually sourcing products and what I'm going to do later in the video I'll show you the complete process of how I got the product list using Keepa looking at a certain brand but what I'm going to do right here is just show you some of these product matches so here's the product on Amazon and then I'm going to click the link next to it so you can see that same product at Costco and see that it matches the product from Amazon to Costco and then I'll click on another one actually right under it and we'll see if this one is a match okay these look appear to be a match as well yep alright they appear to be a match you can take your time checking but right now I'm just doing a quick uh, run through just kinda quickly showing you you can also see the products in the preview pictures sometimes but I'll go ahead and open them up so you can see these are the same jelly beans on Amazon and also at this supplier which turns out to be Walmart. Walmart also carries this particular brand Kirkland Signature which is the brand I used as an example in this video and so um, as you go through you will see all of these different matches but um, actually if you stick around for the rest of the video what I'm going to do is show you how I actually got the products in here which I used uh, a Keepa CSV uh, ran a filter from Keepa and took the CSV and just imported it in here and then imported the uh, data if you want to see that process in more detail then stick around and watch the rest of the video and I'm going to actually take you through the process and then run the source in again and show you some uh, results but um, if not if you think you've already seen enough just from this and you want to go ahead and try it out the link is in the description of the video you can go ahead and get uh, a copy of the system right now and you can go ahead and start using it uh, but again if you want to see more detail in fact you can go ahead and do that and then come back to the video if you want to see more detail as well of uh, getting the products using Keepa and that's basically um, it stick around for the rest of the video if you want to see the full demonstration so I'm going to start this process by first of all looking at this Kirkland signature brand which has lots of products on Amazon I already know that this brand comes from Costco but what I'm going to do is pull up their products using Keepa, okay, all the products of this brand, so that I can then go ahead and reverse source them with my reverse sourcer, uh, my automatic um, product sourcer. So what I'm going to do is go to Keepa Data Product Finder. I'm going to say from one for the rank. That's something I always do for the sales rank. I put from one so that the products have a rank on them so they can have a rank of one or more um, the other thing is to scroll down to the second section I'm going to go to brand because remember I'm looking for a specific brand in this case Kirkland signature and I'm going to type in Kirkland signature right here and then the other thing is um, that the other thing I'm going to do is look for the Amazon out of stock so I'm going to scroll down some more Okay, so this is the third thing, 90 days out of stock percentage, OOS percent, which is Amazon out of stock, from 100. Okay, so now I have 9,413 Kirkland Signature uh, products. I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to select Allow Products with Possibly Outdated Information so I can get all the products. I don't care if the price is up to date or not, I just want the products, okay? I'm going to click on find products and I just want to pull up the products. I can look at the prices later, right? So um, now I have all these Kirkland Signature products. If you scroll down, you're going to see lots of different uh, products. I can download these 1,000 
into an Excel, this first page of 1000. I'm going to go ahead and export them. All active columns CSV. Export them into my CSV file, which I can then open that CSV right here. And when I open it, here's the CSV. All right, for all these Kirkland Signature products. Now, what I want to do is actually bring these into my product title auto sourcer. So what I'm going to do is go to the Keep a CSV sheet and put the CSV in here. Now I could copy and paste the CSV. Actually, right click copy and I could paste it in here, but I find with Google Sheets a lot of times the paste, when you paste the whole file, a large file from Excel, it's very slow. So instead, what I suggest you do is you go to the, you go to the Keep a CSV sheet, you go to File and then you go to Import and bring it in this way. You're going to go to Upload and then select a file from your device. When you click Select a file from your device, you will find the file on your computer. I'm going to do that now, but you won't see it here in the video. So once you have selected the file and uploaded the file, now you just have to tell it where to put the file. And actually, you just want to put it right here in the current sheet. So you're going to select Replace Current Sheet. It's going to say Detect Automatically. All right, convert text, all that, leave it alone, just click import data. And then you're going to see all of the products just pop right in. Um, right, the CSV, the Keep a CSV file is going to come right in. And you have all this stuff here. Okay, now I'm going to go to the sourcing sheet. And all I'm going to do is actually pull in the products into the sheet. So I'm just going to click on import Keep a Data. This is a push button system. So no copying and pasting here, you just click import keep a data. All right, so it's automatic. Otherwise, you would have to go in here, you'd have to look for the ASIN, look for the title, highlight all of that, right? So instead, I automated it for you with the import button. Okay, even the link is automated, right? Now, you have your IDs, which are the ASINs, your links to the product on Amazon and the titles. Now you're going to go under source one, and all you have to do is you can start sourcing the products. This script up here, by the way, this is a, uh, it's still creating the links. Okay, it's still creating the links. You can just leave that alone. Don't worry about that. Just let it run. What I'm going to do under source one is go ahead and source a product by clicking the source product button. Make sure that you're you put the mouse pointer and that you've selected the cell here when you do this. Right now, you'll notice this first one, this first title, it does not have the brand name in it. So actually, it ended up sourcing. Um, here to Walmart. Let's see the next one, which has the brand name Kirkland Signature in it. And we're going to do source product again. All right, not found. I'm going to try this one, see if I get something for this product. And you don't have to do them one by one, but I'm just doing them to start off one by one. Okay, you see this is coming up at another site. Let's see if it's, uh, let's see what site is coming up. Okay, this is the product on Amazon and then let's see what it brought up for the source okay so this is some other website called gain marked all right uh, gain marked and it's sold out these are the gloves uh, like examination gloves right okay so here's an example now um, so that might be a supplier you didn't even know about but usually what you're gonna do you can just hit source all products you don't really have to do it one by one but it depends on how you wanna work you might wanna just be, do one by one you might have some reason why you wanna look at certain products so you might just go to each one by one and, and, high, and source the product or you might just wanna go ahead and source all the products and just wait for all of them to source um, but actually you don't have to wait because some of them have already come out so you can go ahead and start looking if you want right so for instance you could look at this one Amazon okay this is the product on Amazon Carlton signature and then let's see what it found on Costco okay let's see what it found on Costco and we see it's the B12 it looks like the same product 5000 MCG looks like it is the same product right um, it's telling me $17.99 here. What does it go for on Amazon? All right. It's like it's even um, less on Amazon, right? Okay. So, um, so all this does is match the is find the match, right? It's not checking the price. It's not checking profit or anything like this. 
The whole point of this is just that the products are already matched. So all you have to do to compare is you click here and you click here. Right? You click the link on Amazon and then you click the supplier link that's coming up. And then you are able to compare. Right? Now most of the time they'll match exactly. Uh, sometimes they won't. Right? In some cases. Okay, but usually I find that it usually uh, matches pretty well. So here's a Kirkland signature. Okay, again, and this is coming up on eBay, it's coming up on Walmart. Uh, so it's not always going to come up where you expect. Okay, this is like not even anywhere near the same product. But this is this third link. The third link is the same product. It's 2136 on this website. Okay, 2190 here on Amazon, right? Not very not much of a difference in price, right? But this is a match. That's the whole point is that it is matching the products, right? Um so I mean, I can keep going through and just comparing products, but basically I just want you to see that it works. Okay, you have this, and you have this. Right, Kirkland baby wipes. Pretty sure these are the same. The picture is just a little different, but um, these are the same. In fact, the second here's the picture. Right, 900 baby wipes. See, 900 baby wipes. It's the same picture. Right, 35.99. Okay, so in this case, the prices are so close um, for a lot of these. Right, you can put the cost of goods in here if you have Seller Assistant app, and you'll be able to know the profit right away. So I kind of recommend, I highly recommend this Chrome extension. Uh, I should have a link for it. Uh, so if there's a link, I'll put. If there's a link for this, I'll put it in the video for you to sign up because this is a very useful Chrome extension. So that once you've order sourced the products, when you're opening the products on Amazon, you can instantly put in the price. Okay, right here under cost of goods, and this Chrome extension shows you the profit right away. So you can see this is a. Uh, profit loss right so right away I would say nope right I wouldn't uh, do this product also it shows you if you have approval to sell it right if you see it unlocked it's unlocked it might tell you restricted here it might tell you you know different a lot of information on the product okay you've got you know there's a lot of information on the product here uh, it's a top 0.06 percent seller right how the number of sales even per month there's uh, the number of sellers here fulfilled by merchant Amazon it gives you a lot of data on the product right away you can even see the price history okay so I highly recommend this Chrome extension and it's very um, it's very 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 uh, inexpensive Chrome extension okay it's a monthly fee but it's very cheap um, here is something else you can look at and I'm really just pretty much checking the results of the sourcer and sharing those results with you right in this video because how else will you know how and if it works if I don't actually show the results <laughs> so I'm showing the purpose is for me to show you the results right you see here the Kirkland Kirkland mixed nuts and you see it right here on Amazon now in this case we've got um, 8295 is the price right but then here but that's for a set of three okay yeah, that's a set of three Hair twenty nine ninety on Walmart, but of course you need to consider you might be getting cash back, you might be getting other things uh, as well. You know, I don't know, you might be getting some kind of uh, points if you have a Walmart card or whatever. So you would calculate the cost to buy three of these, all right? Which is going to be too much, I think, unless you get a big discount. And you could calculate the profit here as well for this product. All right, and that's basically the idea. Now, I am uh, one thing I'm looking at um, doing, which is going to be uh, a lot of work, but I can start to do it. Is uh, some the ability also to pull the price of the products automatically from the supplier, but this has to be done one supplier at a time. So, if I can, for example, if we can do Costco, maybe I can pull the Costco prices automatically. What will happen is you will have the source here. And then automatically the price uh, will appear in here as well, perhaps. You know, and then we could have the price on Amazon, and then we could have the price of the source, um, and then we could calculate the profit right away. 
right? Kind of like what you might have seen with the source and software, where they have the price and they have the profit also. So right now, uh, the system only gives you the source. It doesn't give you the prices, right? So you, that's why I have to go through and look at the prices myself, right? But for the future, we'll see um, what else I can do with this. All right, so here are some signature jelly beans <clears throat> on Amazon. And you see, so what I'm discovering here is that a lot of these products are also uh, coming up on Walmart. And I didn't realize that Walmart sold the Kirkland Signature brand as well, but apparently they do because I'm seeing a lot of the products are coming up on Walmart as well. All right, so this is the thing with auto sourcing that's so nice is it's going to pull up things that you might not even expect. You're going to get results, find suppliers you didn't even know carried the brand. All right, because it's going to find things sometimes that you might not have found. All right. Um, and I could just keep going through, but I mean, you can watch as much of this as you want. I'm going to go through a lot of them in the video because I really uh, want people to see that the auto sourcing really does work. And that's why I did it live. So you could see it live that I clicked the button and that you saw it actually doing the sourcing. And so you can actually see it in action. All right, so here's Amazon, and then this should be the same product on Walmart. I don't know where the picture is, but at this point, maybe I'll just stamp the sources. And that's to prevent them from recalculating so that they just stay like this. All right, to stamp them and make them permanent, basically. And um, the only other thing I might want to do from here is export the sheet. Normally I would wait for it to finish, but you can go ahead and export the results. And when you click export, results is going to put uh, all the products on another sheet. All right, so now you have the products on this sheet. And basically, um, what you want to do from here, uh, I mean, that would be it. You would do whatever you want to do with these uh, links, put them wherever you want to put them. Right, you can store the store the file somewhere wherever you want it to be stored. Basically, um, what you can do right here uh, when you're ready to start over is you can clear the export sheet, uh, clear it, clear all the sources out, clear all of this product data, clear your CSV, and then you can start over again with a new file. And that's pretty much um, the process that you do for the system. So hopefully this video was helpful in just kind of understanding uh, how to use the system and to give you an idea of how it works. But go ahead and get a copy. The best way you're going to understand it is by getting a copy and trying it yourself uh, and then giving me feedback on it so I can, um, you know, make some improvements and see what's working for people. Okay, so uh, that's basically it. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them below. If you have a personal particular problem uh, or whatever that needs to be solved uh, uh, you should probably send an email for that because if I need to send you something I cannot send it through the video right I mean so I have to send it through email right I can't send it through a YouTube channel so um, you know for that kind of stuff you should email me right but basically in general comments general questions general suggestions you can leave them below and uh, I'll respond. So that's about it. I'm Mr. Mark. This is Excel for Amazon FBA or FBM. I look forward to seeing you or hearing from you around on the channel.